Hey, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, my name is Adrian. And today, July 11th, 2021, marks the 15th year that I've been working in some capacity on this thing that we call the internet. I've spent the last couple of days, weeks, just really absorbing and reflecting on what that 15-year journey means to me. Uh, from my YouTube start back in 06 at 11 years old, the ventures and businesses built along the way, the relationships formed, the lessons learned, and ultimately the life that I get to live today that was created as a result of my start on this little channel on YouTube back in the day, um, not necessarily knowing at all what I was doing. Though the one thing I can confidently say throughout it all and since the start that I'm genuinely proud is that I can say I've always loved what I do. At every level, at every step, at every venture, I've always loved what I do. And I'm privileged to say that. Before the money or the business aspect, before the fame, notoriety, or influence, before any of it, it was always about doing something that I was just wholeheartedly passionate about. And even 15 years down the road in this journey, I still look at myself as a creator in everything I do, all titles aside, entrepreneur, CEO, what have you, I'm a creator at heart. In my ventures today at Network Right, we are creating solutions for our clients in the IT service space. At Digital Dojos, our motto has always been creating technology content for the masses. And at ASC Cap, I like to look at it as we are creating opportunities in the businesses and ventures and whatnot and the spaces that we invest in. What I've learned in this decade plus journey is that it's been about the journey, just that. I was obsessed with success, the end goals, the material aspects of it, the results where in the end, it's always been about constantly redefining what success means to me because it's not stagnant. It's not one thing. I think it's fair to say at this point, I've worked my ass off to get to where I'm at in the position that I'm in. And while I still have a long way to go, I think to be in anything this long requires some sort of sacrifice, some adaptation, and of course, resilience throughout it all. Though with that, I don't want the lesson or the narrative from this to be that because you work hard, because you love what you do, you will succeed and it will be easy. I want to be honest and transparent in my belief that I think it's the contrary. It was never easy. Loving what I do and what I've done in the past has only made the journey harder. <laughs> It made it harder for me to disappoint my family in my decision to skip college. It made it harder for me to risk it all in leaving high school to pursue a business that wasn't a guaranteed success. It made it harder for me to leave home back in 2016, leaving Japan behind when I at the surface had what most people would quantify as success. None of it, none of those stages, none of those decisions were easy by any means. And simply because I loved what I was doing and was passionate about it didn't make it any easier. But what it did make in those decisions and those choices was it made all of the work, all the time, all the sacrifice worth it in the end. And I think that's what loving what you do or having some modicum of passion behind the things that you pursue does, is it allows you to withstand those trials and tribulations. It allows you to, in some weird messed up way, justify <laughs> the risks and everything that you're doing. And I think it's important to find that aspect of what you love doing in anything that you do. I think it's okay to do work and work for the sake of working to get by and make ends meet. I'm not saying you have to chase your passion and chase your dreams. I think rather find the aspects in your job, in your career, in whatever you're doing that you love to do and run with that. I think it's fair to separate the two for some of you who want to keep your passions and your hobbies separate from your work life. But I just want to make sure I put the notion out there that just because you love what you do and you work hard at it, that it's a guaranteed ticket to success, because often you'll find it's the opposite. When I joined YouTube, it was because I was passionate about technology and I wanted to share that with the world. At the root of it, however, it was the joy I found in creating and sharing things with others, bringing things into this world that at some small aspect, at some small, tiny level, made an impact in this world. And that was what was always most important to me above all and beyond everything. And I'm privileged and honored to sit here and say that I've got to do that for the last 15 years now. 
and I can't forget the community of people, the subscribers, the viewers, the supporters, um, the colleagues and friends that have got me to this very point in my life. If it wasn't for all of you, I, I'm simply just not sitting here today telling you this story. If it wasn't for people like Duncan, Josh, Nuno, and Dan, Digital Dojos doesn't exist. If it wasn't for my family and my core group of friends, the Yoki Squad, you know who you are. There's too many of you to name, but I, I'm not who I am today. I'm not where I'm at today. Because all of you and your support and your relentless um, encouragement allowed me to be at the level that I'm at today. I, I never felt downplayed or, or weird because of the things that I was doing when I was younger because you all always made me feel supported in the work that I was pursuing, the craziness that I was pursuing. And in the 15 years, the most proudest achievement I'll always say is it's the support structure, it's the people I chose to surround myself with that have enabled me to be where I'm at today. And those are the moments, those are the memories, those are the content when I look back uh, that you all were a part of in some aspect that to this day still stick with me. And nowadays, while I'm a bit more behind the scenes when it comes to the creative work, I've always said it and I always will that at the end of the day, I will always be creating in some shape, form, function, whether it's YouTube, a business, a different channel like this one, <laughs> um, as long as there's something that I love doing and am passionate about and there's a platform for me to share it on and a community to share it with, I'll be there. I've been at this for a long time. I've spent more years working now than I haven't at this point in age at 26 years old. I've seen the game elevate and change. I've seen people come and go. Um, apparently I've been at it longer than some of my viewers have been alive as I recently learned on a comment of mine. Needless to say, I've learned a lot. I've also failed a ton. I've made my mistakes and shortcomings, but ultimately I've managed to carve out this own pocket of success along the way. And I only plan to be at it for much longer. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, as always, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your support. And as always, thanks for watching.